sending your cloud traffic through the internet is like a busy bee trying to get to its destination. In this video, we will review Google Cloud Platform's VPCs. This is part one of this series. Each part will go deeper and deeper. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so now so you don't miss any important updates. Please watch the complete video and then attempt this on your own Google Cloud account. As you can see on this page from Google Cloud's website, Google Cloud VPCs are global, which means that they behave differently than AWS VPCs. I will put a link in the description. I suggest that you always refer back to Google Cloud's documentation as it is a very good learning resource. A global VPC means that your resources can access each other regardless of where they are located. In my AWS VPC series, you can see that in order for resources in the U.S. East region to speak to resources in the U.S. West region, you need to configure VPC peering. Not so in Google Cloud. Subnets are always the same in all accounts in your default VPC. A 10.28 slash 9. Let's take a look at our default VPC. Yours will look exactly the same. Open the VPC tab and you could see all the regions and respective subnets. Click on the firewall to see the four default firewall rules. For this scenario, we are mainly interested in ICMP or pings. We can also see the route table, which includes routes to all regions. One thing that I like about the GCP dashboard is that all my resources are there in one screen. If I have one compute engine, like in this scenario in the U.S. Central region and one in the Asia Southeast region, I don't have to go looking for it. It's all right there with easy access to SSH and to. In AWS, I have to switch between regions in order to access my resources or open a new tab for each region. It's not that it's better, it's just different. Let's check the IP addresses of each compute engine. And then attempt to ping across the pond. As you can see here, pings are successful in both directions using internal IP addresses. This never touches the internet. As you know from RFC 1918, private IP addresses cannot transit the internet. Sending your cloud traffic through the internet is like a busy bee trying to get to its destination. It never flies a straight path. Plus, it's not the most secure. With Google's VPC, your traffic is transiting Google's backbone as fast and secure as possible. In the next video, we will discuss VPC custom mode. If you like this video, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, and smash that notification bell. I will be posting many more tutorials.